Hey everybody, Matthew Cook here, founder and CEO of GTC Golf Academy. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can warm up prior to going out to play or, or even prior to practicing. Like if you're gonna put a good practice session in of you know an hour or two or, or even half a day, what some people do. And uh, this, this video is gonna help you uh, warm up for that because the last thing you wanna do is just show up to the range and just start beating balls with a driver or a long iron straight away. You're gonna hurt yourself. Um, you're not gonna hit very good shots. You might get lucky, but ultimately you're gonna you're gonna end up injuring yourself, and then you're you're not gonna be able to play. So the first thing is always to prevent injury because if we can prevent injury, then you can keep playing and you can keep improving. So what I like to do, and, and this is a, it's Saturday morning right now. I've seen tons of golfers come through prior to teeing off on the first hole over there. Uh, lining up on the range just beating balls beating balls and you know it, it seems like there's not much awareness of warming up so I'm going to go through the whole the whole session uh, the whole the whole bag the whole session of warming up I'm going to do it a little quicker than I would because uh, of the length of the video and I know that people don't have all that much time so got my full set of clubs uh, I'm and I always start with the short club the short iron it's the heaviest it's the smallest it's the easiest to hit and, uh, and I start off small. Uh, prior to this, I would, I've already done my stretches today, but I would just do some basic stretches um, to sort of cover the whole body, just some simple stretches you can find online anywhere. I would advise looking at Titleist Performance Institute for some overall basic stretches. That's gonna put you in good shape. And then when it comes to actually hitting the ball, feeling the club swinging, uh, then go ahead and grab your shortest club. I've got my 58 degree wedge here. I do have a 52, but I've chosen to get 58. It's just a personal preference, personal choice. Now, all I'm gonna do is start off with some small shots. And uh, and what you'll notice is that, you know, I don't pay too much attention to what the ball actually does. Uh, not yet, anyway. And I'm, I'm not too concerned with how I strike the ball. Cause like, like I said, we're, at the start we're loosening up we're warming up it's not about what the ball does or how we hit it it's just about getting a basic overall feeling and awareness for how you hit the ball like i hit that one so fat it was unbelievable but i don't care you know i've had the the, the pleasure and been fortunate enough to to go to a pga tour event and actually watch golfers warm up and i've seen i've seen rory McIlroy on the range hit shanks and tops i've seen tiger on the range hit shanks and tops i've seen some of the best players on the planet set up to a ball on the range warming up an hour or two before they're going to play in um in the pga championship prior to them playing in the masters prior, prior to them playing in the honda classic prior to playing at the british open and i've seen them hit terrible shots and they don't care they're, really, they're not bothered about what the ball does because they're literally just loosening up, warming up, getting a feel for that club, just moving around their body. That's it. There's, no, there's nothing else that they really care about. Now, towards the end of the warm-up session, they do start dialing in on distances and direction, but to start with, it's just loosening up. And then they, they uh, typically round one prior to round one if they if they're not feeling very confident with a particular club or area then they might hit a few more shots if they're feeling good they're not going to waste all that much time going to hit a few shots with the wedge now i'm going to jump up to my pitching wedge uh i'm going to start again small just feeling the weight of the club i'll probably swing at about 70 percent just again to get a feel, just to get my body loosening up and warming up uh, on a longer swing. No real awareness of target right now. Just start increasing the speed, starting to get a bit faster, a bit more, a bit closer to how I would swing speed wise on the golf course. You can see my swings are getting a little longer, so. At some point, you're going to stick your glove on. I would advise having maybe two gloves as well. One for the range warming up and one that you would actually play in. Obviously, make them the same glove so you don't get a different feel out there to the range. So now I've got a glove on. I'm going to start swinging a little bit longer and faster. 
And that's about as long and fast as I'm gonna swing a wedge anyway. So pretty good. Put that back in the bag. I'm gonna jump up to like an eight iron. So just, and also you see, I don't go through every single club. I don't need to, there's not that much difference. And I don't wanna wear myself out. You know, the best players on the planet are athletes. They probably could hit every club, but they don't. They, they're, they're saving energy. They're saving energy both physical and psychological for the golf course because there's not only physical energy that you need, which hitting lots of golf balls is gonna wear you out. You're gonna feel a bit more fatigued, your muscles, etc. But there's also decision fatigue, deciding psychological energy that you place on golf shots out on the golf course. That takes a lot out of you. It takes more than physical energy. That's, for, that's just for sure. So uh, we want as little as possible given here so we can conserve it for the golf course. So that was a little longer, a little faster, but not a full eight iron. Struck it pretty good. But again, just, just now as I'm getting into a more fuller swings, just trying to get more of a feel. Now, now I might even start taking some practice swings a little bit later into the practice warm up session. Start taking some bigger swings now trying to feel whatever I'm trying to feel at the at the time. Obviously everybody has tendencies and uh, working with a coach, you'll understand that. I'd be happy with that. Um, uh, that's good for me, that one. I'll put that back in the bag. I'm gonna jump up to a six iron so the clubs start getting a little bit longer now and obviously the longer the club the lighter the club the more energy uh, I'm going to be putting into it the more energy it's actually going to take out of me so with the longer clubs I wouldn't hit as many and I would start to pay more attention to the the target line the direction the flight height I would actually start to try and hit golf shots now real golf shots at different targets on the range obviously paying attention to uh, my body and how it's feeling uh, and now just a little bit more about how the ball is reacting and flying because you'll find and i think it was jack nicholas that said this or referenced something similar to this but if he couldn't quite get something on the range prior to playing then you know, he would be reluctant to actually do that or use that on the golf course. Uh, and a lot of golfers are like that and it's, it's, it's a very strategic thing to do. You know, if you just couldn't find something on the range, then why on earth would you go out and try it on the golf course? There we go. Only a couple of shots there. They felt both, both quite well. I'm gonna take my three wood, I'm gonna start jumping into the woods now. And again, starting to pay attention ever so slightly more to what the ball's doing, as well as how I'm feeling. My body is, after stretching, after hitting some short shots, small shots warming up, I'm now in a position where I actually feel pretty good about my body and how I'm moving. And uh, so now I'm gonna pay more attention to the actual direction, going through a routine, Practice swings, setting up for golf balls, trying to actually hit shots now. And you may even want to try different shots, different shaping shots, low draws, high draws, fades, you know, work the ball left to right. Because all of this is awareness. And the more awareness you have going out onto the golf course is a good thing. That's what, that's what we're ideally looking to achieve just long-term anyway, more awareness of where the club is around your body and how the, uh, how the club is and the club face is through impact, all things like that. Two shots, done, that's it, I felt pretty good. The first one wasn't great, the second one was pretty good. I feel like I've got good awareness and now I'm just gonna finish off, finish off hitting a couple of drives. Take my glove off for a second just so I can get some fresh air. And, and this is probably going to round out my, my warm-up session. 
uh, prior to me going out to play. May hit one ball, may hit five. Really don't know, it depends on how it feels. Depends on just, just my energy really. Um, how, if I hit one that's not quite to my liking, I'd hit one again. I'd hit until I felt pretty comfortable accepting that shot. Going through a full routine behind the ball to line up and have some practice swings. Feeling what I want to feel. And then stepping in to actually hit what might be, and usually is, that first shot down the first tee. That would have been pretty sweet down the first tee. And you know, it wasn't even my best. It's not my best shot. Hit it a little out the toe. Flight was a little low. Uh, class as a draw, but it was a little hooky. But down the first tee, that would put me in prime position. I feel very aware of my swing. I feel like I'm in good shape. I'm all set to go out and play. And that's how you can just warm up, basic simple warm up prior to going out and playing on the golf course. I went through that pretty quickly. And what was that, 10 minutes? 10 minutes before your tee time now, I'd go and hit some putts and, uh, and I'd be ready for the golf course. Try that and I, I guarantee you're gonna be in a better position when you stood on that first tee.